Hello everyone, welcome back to the MathMind channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a question from Russia. This question is a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Let's go ahead and get started. In the following question, we are asked to find the result of a division between two extremely large numbers. And if you pay attention, you notice that I have color-coded both the numerator and the denominator. This is done so that it is easier to analyze each component. Let's take a look at the numerator. Let's focus on the red color 1. I have 1 followed by 12 digits behind. So we are just going to go ahead and write this as 10 to the power of 12. Next, let's focus on the blue color 1. This time I have the blue color 1 followed by 11 digits. So I'm going to write this as 10 to the power of 11. Next, let's take a look at this number right here. 11,111. This number is followed by 4 digits at the back. So naturally, I'm going to write this as 11,000 111 multiplied by 10 to the 4th power. For the last part right here, I have 11 and that's going to be written as plus 10 plus 1. Before we focus on the denominator, let's clean up all this messy writing. Now we are going to do the same thing for the denominator on the first number, the red color 1. Again, I am going to express that as 10 to the power of 12. On the second part, let's focus on this number 1 right here. And we know it's followed by 10 digits behind. So I'm going to write this as 10 to the power of 10. Same thing with the 5 ones, 11,111. It has 4 digits at the back, so again I'm going to write this as 11111 times 10 to the 4th power. Notice that this time on the, on the denominator I have 101. So I'm going to write this as 10 square plus 1. Now we notice our entire expression is in terms of powers of 10, except for this part right here, the 5 ones. And we need to do something about it to make things homogenize. One way to do it is to rewrite 11,111 as 99,999 divided by 9 which is then equal to 10 to the 5th power minus 1 divided by 9 and we are going to replace this with our new expression. So now our new fraction becomes 10 to the 12th power plus 10 11 plus 10 to the 5th power minus 1 divided by 9 multiplied by 10 to the 4th power plus 10 plus 1. That's the numerator. As for the denominator, I have 10 to the 12th power plus 10 to the 10th power plus 10 to the 5th power minus 1 divided by 9 multiplied by 10 to the 4th power plus 10 square plus 1. And we are going to multiply both sides by 9 just to get rid of the 9 right here. For the part that I have on this red color bracket, 
when multiplied by 9 that's equivalent to 10 to the fifth power minus 1 divided by 9 multiplied by 10 to the fourth power multiplied by 9 so the 9's will cancel each other out and now this is equal to 10 to the 9th power minus 10 to the 4th power. So now our numerator becomes 9 times 10 to the power of 12 plus 9 times 10 to the power of 11 plus 10 to the power of 9 minus 10 to the 4th power plus 9 times 10 plus 9. Likewise, for our denominator, this becomes 9 times 10 to the 12th power plus 9 times 10 to the 10th power plus 10 to the power of 9 minus 10 to the 4th power plus 9 times 10 square plus 9. If you notice, I have divided the expression by color coding into two distinct parts. And the reason behind this will be clear a moment later. Let's focus on the green color box on the numerator. I can separate it out into three separate brackets. And in fact, I can do a simple factorization by taking out 10 to the power of 9, which is the common term. So now what I have is 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by 9 times 10 cubed plus 9 times 10 square plus 1. Likewise, the same thing can be done for the new denominator. So now I have 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by 9 times 10 cubed plus 9 times 10 plus 1. Don't forget we still have the red color back part to deal with. So we are going to rearrange this part right here and write it as 99 minus 10 to the 4th power. Likewise, for the denominator, I'm going to rewrite that as 909 minus 10 to the 4th power. If we simplify our expression, now we have 10 to the 9th power multiplied by 9901 minus 9901. That's for the numerator. As for the denominator, I have 10 to the 9th power multiplied by 9091 minus 9091. We are going to go ahead and do another factorization by taking out the common term. So on the numerator, I'm going to take out 9901 and then 10 to the power of 9 minus 1. For the denominator, I have 9091 multiplied by 10 to the 9 power minus 1. So these two terms will cancel each other and I'm going to end up with 9901 divided by 9091. Let's go ahead and test out whether this is our final answer. We were going to do a division. So now what I have is 1, 810 divided by 9091. Let's take a look at 810 and we are going to subdivide it into its individual factors. So 810, I have 5, 1, 6, 2, 3, 54, 3, 
eighteen, three, six, three, two. So meaning eight hundred and ten can be expressed as five times three to the four power times two. A simple back test of these three numbers will reveal that none of them is a factor of nine thousand and ninety one. And if we check on Google, we'll find that both these numbers are prime numbers, which means that these are this is our final answer. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a good day. Take care.